Um, you guys, so today on the channel, what we're going to be doing is going over SI joint pain. So if you have SI joint pain, definitely tune into this one, give it a listen, and it's going to help you understand some of the different mechanisms that play into SI joint pain. We're not going to cover off everything, but we are going to cover off basically what we call our posterior oblique sling, which includes our lat muscle and our opposite side glute and how that can create stability for your SI joint. So an SI joint is going to be kind of in this area, right? So your sacrum's kind of right here. So you're going to have an SI joint there and there. So if you are getting SI joint pain, we want to look at this posterior oblique sling that includes your lat, your thoracolumbar lumbar fascia, and your glute max on the other side. And how this works is that the tension in the lat and the glute can help create stability over the SI joint. So as you get to the fascia here, which is kind of all this white area in here, you can imagine that it's kind of crisscrossing and overlaying and how much stability that would provide. So imagine an X here, an X here, and where they're crossing over is going to be basically right over your SI joint. So if the lat or the glute are not firing as well as they should be, they're not going to provide the stability to help with that SI joint. And same thing, if the lat or the glute is very tight, then it could be pulling on that line and causing some SI joint dysfunction as well. So there's lots of things that can cause SI joint pain, and this is just one of them. So we need to see if this lat and this glute are functioning properly. One way we can do that is by doing a lat length test to see how the um, tension is within that lat. We can also muscle test the lat and same thing with the glute. We can do some stretching to see if there's a lot of tension through that glute and that piriformis muscle, and then also do some functional testing on it to see how well it's firing and how strong it is. So you have your glute max, which basically makes up this bigger muscle here. Um, but you also have your pier piriformis underlying that, which is basically if this is your SI joint area and your sacrum, it's coming and attaching underneath that glute and going out this way. Oftentimes people will say that they're getting like sciatic nerve pain. And this is that piriformis muscle. There's some tension in it and it's irritating that sciatic nerve as it passes through this area here. The other thing is that sciat or that uh, piriformis muscle can also be pulling as it's attaching onto the sacrum, it can kind of be pulling on that. So when our glute max fires well, the piriformis tends to uh, loosen up that tension that it has from uh, overworking and trying to do more work than it should. And then same thing with our lat, if it's too tight, it's going to be pulling up this way too. So the combination of our lat and our glute max can help provide stability to this SI joint. So two things that we can do as far as exercises that are simple and effective, to make sure that we've got nice strong lat and glute is a single leg glute bridge. I like doing the single leg variation because you can focus on one side instead of letting the other side take over. Um, if you really lack stability through the hips, you might want to start with both legs doing a glute bridge and then progress to single leg glute bridges. But you do want to make sure you're doing both sides with these exercises just because it does have that crossover effect. And then for our lat, what we can do, instead of your traditional lat pull down um, or a pull up, do a pull down with a single arm variation. So you'll hook that cable up instead of to the bar, you're just going to have a single uh, point and just be pulling on one side and isolating one lat at a time. So those are both fantastic exercises that are going to help clear up that SI joint pain for you. So hopefully that makes a lot of sense to you guys. If you are struggling with SI joint pain, definitely look into this lat and glute max relationship and how that forms that sling or that band across the SI joint and then crisscrosses with the other side. 